Calculating the perimeter of a triangle is actually pretty simple. I mean, just like any other shape, you just basically take the distance around the outside edge. So if we call our sides here 1, 2, and 3, we'd just add you know, side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 to get the perimeter. So that's pretty straightforward. Calculating the area of a triangle is a little bit trickier. It requires sort of a, a mental picture. What we have here is a shape that looks a little like half of a parallelogram, right? In fact, if we were to sort of duplicate this triangle, let's put a red one on here, and then take that duplicate and, oops, did that wrong, take that duplicate like this, there we go, and rotate it around like this, and slide it over, putting it on so that one side is shared with the original triangle. Now we have a parallelogram, right? But what I've done then is take the area of the original triangle here and double it by making another equally, uh, equal size triangle over here. So the area of this figure is exactly twice the area of the original triangle. The nice thing is that this figure is a parallelogram, which means all we need to do to find the area of this figure is just do base times height, right? So for the new figure here, the parallelogram area, we just do base times height. But if we did that, we'd have the area of this new big figure. So to find the area of the original triangle, we'd have to cut that new answer in half, right? We double the size of the triangle to get the parallelogram to start with. So if we then calculate the area on the parallelogram, we'd cut the answer in half to get the area of just the triangle in the first place. And that is the formula for the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is base, oops, let's do a better B, shall we? Base times height, so just like a parallelogram, but then we divide the answer by two. Sometimes you'll see it as one half base times height, but it's the same thing, base times height divided by two, or one half of base times height. And that's exactly because this little idea here works with every triangle. It doesn't, have, doesn't matter if it's a right triangle. If it's a right triangle and you pull the trick, you actually end up forming a rectangle. But remember, the formula for the area of a rectangle is the same, right? So if we start with a triangle here that's a right triangle, 90 degrees here, and we then duplicate that triangle, instead of getting a slant parallelogram like we did down below, we get a rectangle, but the base times height still works, right? Height base. So the perimeter of a triangle is just add up the three sides, and the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So let's play around with that a little bit with our example questions.